Hello, everybody. It is time for Third Act Thursday. Oh, hashtag rebirth. We're talking about uh, all things spring today, I think is what we're going. So, hello, Megan. Hey, hello. All right. Yeah, this one we're definitely kind of winging. Um, but yeah, so I like, I, I was thinking, yes. So, the whole idea of like rebirth, it's springtime. Um, I'm thinking May is, is now officially become my favorite month of the year. Really? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. So I love April too, but April still like, there's still like, everything's so dirty, you know, and those, yeah. like the snow melts and there's like six months worth of dog crap in the backyard and, <laughs> and like all the people like that have littered throughout the winter and everything's melting and there's just garbage everywhere and dirt yeah, and like exactly. the streets haven't been, you know, haven't been, uh, not paved um what's the word uh, cleaned right and all so there's dirt everywhere and so may is like everything's clean people are buying their flower bed stuff we just got our flowers uh literally overnight it seems like the trees like green right out yeah, which totally. is rad nice. super cool so i think like rebirth you know and the, whole, the theme of the show loosely uh you know the dropping the third act side of it but the rebirth side of it is very much like spring spring energy we just had a full moon uh monday night which is like the flower blood full moon or some crazy like eclipse like there's so much going on with it nice. so i'm wondering yeah like what kind of um i guess like two parts like do you have any change in your like energy or like vibe or whatnot on full moons and oh. it's, it's in springtime as well like is there anything yeah. that you're finding <laughs> that you're just naturally gravitating towards or allowing and you're like oh okay yeah this yeah. is cool this yeah. is working you know what? That's a good question. And I really should pay more attention to full moons because I'm super interested in it, but then I've never like kind of tracked it or tracked how I sort of responded to things on that day. So I'm going to put that in my mind to keep track of, but mm. I mean, I feel like I typically do better in the spring, summer months anyways, which I think I'll kind of, you know, resonate with a lot of people, especially for people who have like seasonal affective disorder. It's just right. brighter. Your energy seems to be lifted the days are longer. And so I definitely can feel my energy shift and me kind of come out of this, like almost like a tired phase of life. And it could have mm. just been the phase of life that we were in too, just personally, but yeah, it was just on the weekend where, yeah, the weather really shifted. We had such a nice weekend and we were outside all weekend. I kind of took the girls on their first walk since I guess like last spring, right? Because I don't, mm. really, I don't really walk with them in the winter. It's pretty hard to push a double stroller down these Edmonton <laughs> streets. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Um, it just felt good. Like my, I could feel like all the tension released from my body just walking again in the sunlight and the warm sunlight like that. So yeah, I mean, I can feel myself just kind of perking up. <laughs> mm. Yeah, no, the, for sure. I like that. Yeah, definitely. Like, I, how is it for you? As far as so for me, naturally, like I can wake up super early in the winter time and I can go to bed. I usually go to bed like earlier as a result as well. But I definitely feel right. a shift of just my natural body's schedule where yeah. I like to stay up later because man, it's like light so out. It's almost so. 10 now. It's yeah, crazy. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, man, I'm I, like last last time, like, you know, winding down and reading a book or whatnot at 9 30 is still like like pitch light out I, yeah, know, I guess totally. that's not a phrase, but you know what I mean it's like holy yeah, yeah, crap. Yeah. and then you're like I kind of don't feel like going to bed now like so I think just naturally and then it's nice though too when you wake up at like you know 5 30 or 6 and it's like nice and light, light out, out too so yeah, it really yeah. does energize you doesn't it and mm -hmm. yeah and like you say I kind of like the uh just what you're talking about like the season you almost like I like the comparison like I know Tony Robbins does it a lot like the seasons of life as well right and you know, the seasons of like humanity in a sense like right now it's like very much a winter like coming out of covid is like a winter as is, was the great depression or like a wartime right as like a humanity that's like everything's kind of in seasons and i like the idea like the analogy of comparing things like that as well and then just the actual seasons themselves and like the different energy they generate and and um mm -hmm. you know personality traits and and that kind of thing i yeah i've always been very interested by that but yeah, no, I definitely resonate with your, um, you know, it's getting out for walks. Like I love the novelty of spring, you know, like you say, like it's, you haven't done a double, you know, have the double stroller out in like six months. So if what's yeah. old is new again, right. It's been so yeah. long since you've done it. Right. And we've been talking about uh, like road trips and traveling and everything. Like, are you, do you guys have anything planned for 
travel? Because I know that was a big thing that you've been yeah, missing out on. I know. We don't have too much planned right now just with Florence injury, but I do have a vacation yeah. plan to go to BC in July for nice. yeah, nice. for my grandma's 90th birthday. So no way. Looking, yeah, looking forward oh. to that. Well, she turned 90 on um, uh, May 4th. Oh, nice. But yeah, we're Crazy. having a party in the summer, but um, yeah, excellent. Yeah, I mean, those things sometimes, like even when I was walking on the weekend, I was like, I think I, I feel like I like took this for granted or like didn't, mm. didn't like really absorb it. I mean, maybe I did at the time, but talking about seasons, right? It's like when I think back to last summer, you know, almost a year ago, again, it was a different season and my kids were a little bit younger then mm. and, and needed me more then. And so life felt different then. And so, yeah. I mean, parents can get this and that it's like, you're always constantly rebirth, rebirthing when you have kids because they go yeah. through stages of life so quickly, so especially quickly. from ages like one to five. Mm. Um, like, and you don't even notice it. Like yesterday I picked my kids up from daycare and they, cr- they climbed into their own car seats. I'm like, okay, we're doing this now. It's like yeah. you're constantly like shifting yeah. like that all the time. Yeah. So right when I watched them do that, I was like, okay, so here we go. Like we're already in another season where now mm. they're just that much more independent. And so that yeah. makes you know, my life easier. Yep. And it's just wild how you don't even really know what's like the last time was something until yeah, it's over and done with. Yeah. Right. It is funny. Sometimes it's like, it's like a delayed reaction. There'll be a few weeks go by. Obviously that one's fairly like, okay, I've never seen this before. This is pretty, pretty cool. Right. But it's uh, but other things are just like, yeah, they just kind of come and go. And then before, you know, you reflect back after like a delayed reaction a couple of weeks later and you're like, Oh crap, I guess that was, that's the end of that then. Right. And so it's, I, I just yeah. had that. That's so funny. Really? Like, like uh, I think it was a week ago. Um, I usually put my kids into sleep sacks, which is like kind of like a little zip up sleeping bag for them to wear. And they've literally worn one since birth. Oh, okay. so I've always just like transitioned them to a bigger size. Yeah. I was putting them into it, but my one daughter didn't have one because it got dirty in the night. So then I was like, well, I guess I just won't put Ava in one. So I didn't put her in one and I just put their blanket over top of them and like, didn't think anything of it. And then, you know, they went to bed. And then of course the next night I just put a blanket on them, put a mm, blanket on them. Yeah. And somebody might've heard me on Instagram talking about this because then I had a delayed reaction to it. And I was like, god like they're just done with sleep sacks and i yeah. totally cried about it because it's like yeah. you don't even realize that transition until for me it was like a couple of days later <laughs> yeah you're like wait a second no more sleep sacks yeah it's for sure for that. yeah yeah there's a little bit of like nostalgia and like you know get a little sentimental and you have yeah. to allow that right because that is yeah. it's yeah it's a it's a change right and even yeah. tonight where you're saying like what a game-changing thing it it, it may be and we've what if it like with the babysitter you know the first time that they're going to get put uh put to sleep with a babysitter present yeah. right first yeah. time ever so yeah. for however it may go like we've what if it's going to be good you know mm-hmm. and then that, that could be a huge game changing thing for you guys right it's well for like, sure yeah. and we're like going to my stepson's graduation tonight so another like huge kind of changing yep. of things and that is big um, yeah obviously changes our roles as parents, you know? Yeah. Like, oh, big time. Now he drives. We're just kind of like yeah. in the peripheral, like guiding, yeah. not really like hands-on yeah. parenting as much. It's, yeah, it's wild. So it's yeah. cool. It's cool that it lines up with the changing of seasons, right? And like that growth. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> no, cool, cool. Yeah. It's a, yeah, it's cool that we, we ended up talking about this because there is quite a bit of, uh, a bit of changing for me. I have, uh, tomorrow which is thursday which is technically thursday we're recording on wednesday here is my grad for my uh business mentoring program strong coach nice. so yeah four months already went by again so quickly so right fast. yeah and i feel like i'm ready like i feel like i'm uh, you know because initially i was like you feel a little bit protected you're in this bubble there's like the sauna effect right but i feel like i'm i'm ready for it like i'm actually wanting a break from the Thursday call. Like the Thursday call was great. It was always this destination and where I could like, you know, say what was, whatever was going on and, mm-hmm. uh, and collaborate and all this. So now I'm kind of like, you know what? I, I think I'm good. Like I, I'm good. I'm ready for this. So yeah, it, feels, yeah. it feels really cool. And that's going to be a whole different shift as well. Right. Kind of totally. going, going into the wild, so to speak. I was it's just going to say, yeah. Yeah. yeah so like going to get your, what is it? That's a saying now. 
at your land lakes. I don't know, whatever. Yeah. Anyways, you're off on yeah. your own, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, out, out on the streets. But the thing is, is like, I'm still part of the community, but the actual structure of this, like, you know, I've done all the modules. I've, you know, run, run everything out and, you know, and I know how to do it now and I have the framework and the knowledge and the experience and all that. So it's super cool. So yeah, no, that's, it's interesting. I like that. Yeah. That's spring energy, eh? The new beginnings. It's like closing the chapter on one side of things and then opening it up. And, you yeah. know, just one of our messages here for sure. And then you correct me if I'm wrong and put words in your mouth, but like, yeah, there's, a, there should be an allowance of, the emotions of you know if you're feeling sentimental or nostalgic about something allow that it's not uh, it's not a sign of weakness sure. it's yeah celebrating you know what, what totally. was so we talk about it so much right like how i really believe that there is no like good or bad it's all it's always kind of a combination right and so yeah even with my kids it's like you know for sure that i'm thankful that they are in a phase now where they can feed themselves so with this nice weather i have i got them a table outside on the deck nice. so <laughs> Yeah, cool. they've been eating dinner out there. No way. Um, and like totally unassisted. Like wow. I was probably over helping them. And at first yeah. I was like, this is great. I'm like sitting there, you know, having my diet pop, like living life. But then, yeah, at the same time, I'm like, feel sad about it. Cause I'm mm. like, you know, feel not needed. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like yeah. if that's not motherhood, like that is literally the definition of motherhood you're like right they're so happy and sad at the same time yeah yeah a lot of <laughs> dualities that just exist you know simultaneously right yeah. usually with a duality you can kind of you know sit in one for a, a while and then kind of it's circular right but those are like very prominently yeah. simultaneous as you're feeling this right so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah crazy crazy awesome anything else to add any uh final comments yeah, i for... think that's awesome yeah, yeah that's, a good that's cool that's a good one Absolutely. Awesome. Well, thanks everybody. We'll come back at you with, um, do you want to do F up Friday or do you want to do reframe Friday? Let's do reframe. Cause we did a lot of reframing. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks everybody. We'll talk to you tomorrow.